So again, there's a lot of talk about data and how to manage the data. So we're thinking about that too here at Hymer. So what we've done is we've basically come up with a method where we can scan a tool and now through the QR code on the holder, it tells me where to position this coil. In this case, to one inch. I bring the inductive coil down, press and hold the button, and now I can remove the tool. In this case, it's an extension. So it's an extension made of steel. One of the nice benefits of shrink fit is that you can put steel into steel, so you get very deep reaches. And how we cool this down, we have circulated cold water going through these cooling bodies that will cool down the tool within about uh, 30 seconds to a minute. And while that one's cooling, we can actually go to our next tool. This particular machine is also outfitted with a height setter, so you can set your Z-axis dimension, which allows you to uh, make it very fast and easy. So in this case, I think we were setting it to 200 millimeters. So we get it dialed in based on the gauge. You might not be able to see it, but I'm basically dialing in this simple height gauge to 200 millimeters. I'm gonna scan this tool. And this QR code also gives us the options of giving data here. What should be the height? Uh, how long has this tool been in service? How long has this tool been in the spindle? All this is related to the movement of the Industry 4.0 setup of tooling in the tool room, which is something we're very focused on. So in this case, I'm setting the tool. I heat it up. And then I bring it, and it springs up to the stop. So now what this has done is it set this tool exactly to 200 millimeters. In this case, I will go ahead and get it out of the way since it's starting to grab. When I cool it down, that will be exactly at 200 millimeters. The next chain of events would be to bring it to the presetter I showed earlier to actually get your final Z-axis and X dimension, and then bring it to the balancer to confirm that it's still balanced as an assembly. Meanwhile, that first tool that I did when we came over here is already cooled. So here, this was upwards of 300 degrees Celsius, but now it's cool, both the extension and the holder itself. So the beauty of ShrinkFit is the reliability and the consistency of the process. That's the number one reason why it's become so popular. Everyone in the shop sets it the same, whether they've been there for two weeks or 20 years. You get great runout accuracy, great gripping torque, great balance repeatability. You can do extensions, a lot of cool coolant through options. So really, uh, ShrinkFit has become kind of the standard for high accuracy tool holding.